and I'm waking up like horrified. Hannah Berry's art prize submission, I think my mind has like organized it as an important thing, was inspired by a reoccurring dream. Probably like three times a month. It's about death. I don't know, but I think that there's like beauty in death. It's just like if you can find it and how you're gonna find it. The dream started three years ago. Ever since he died. After she tragically lost one of her best friends. I dream about like walking over like a bunch of babies. Like I'm on like a sheet of water, but they're not drowning and they're like looking up, but they all are like very peaceful, almost like porcelain dolls. She collaborated with her six-year-old daughter to make porcelain flowers, mirroring the porcelain doll looking babies. Showcasing how fragile life really is and how fragile art is. She combines the natural with the unnatural. What I purposely, I have real flowers and fake flowers, a real tree with like resembling it being weighed down by just like nothing, you know what I mean? Like the strings aren't, they're not flowers, they're not leaves, they're just nothing, but yeah, it's just like there and stagnant. And she hasn't had the dream. It isn't like I thought of the concept. The piece helped her realize a dream, but it also helped her to cope. It's like a healing tool for me. As the owner of the West Side Gallery, Lions and Rabbits, Barry got to curate her art prize venue the way she wanted it. I just wanted people to come in, see like this mural and be like, wow, you know, that's beautiful color theory to a T, like she's just incredible. And then I wanted them to walk around and look at Tiago's and look at the different mediums he's using and look at Lydia's and look at how peaceful and tranquil it is. Tom makes everything, like all of those things are made and I want people to spend 10 minutes looking at every cube that he's made. She says many of the artists she featured should be in places like the Amway or the Graham. But even so, she says their work has still been seen by thousands with incredible feedback. Kind of showcasing what kind of art we already have in Grand Rapids, um, but in like a beautifully tranquil, questioning way. Like I want people to have thoughts after they leave.